Welcome to the Muntastic Podcast, making the mundane just a little more fantastic. I'm Orvin. And I'm Puella, and today we're talking about Dracula. And Frankenstein. You mean Frankenstein? Frankenstein. <laughs> <laughs> yes! So I first heard about the movies anyway through uh, my dad, who watched them back in the day in the 60s. And so he was talking about them to me over time. And mm. then when I was living on my own for the first time and they still had blockbusters and they still ha- <laughs> and I, there also was a library where I could rent stuff. I, yeah. That's where I watched everything. Right. So which movies in particular, since there have been a lot of different. Oh, there that have. have. I'm actually I'm talking about the original black and white ones from the 30s. So the Bela Lugosi one. Yeah, Bela Lugosi and. No. <laughs> I feel terrible. You're so bad at this. Oh, my gosh. Boris Karloff. And Boris Karloff as Frankenstein. <laughs> These are kind of the most iconic old school, like, universal monster movies yeah. that kind of started the whole thing. Yeah. And that's kind of where I came into it. Where do you come into it? Where I came into this, I knew these books as school assignments. And I tend to have read things before I watched them. You know, as it happened when I was in high school and these two things were assigned. I think I think it was just Frankenstein that was assigned in high school, mm. but I never bothered to read it. You know, I, I did the assignments and took the test anyway, but I, I never actually bothered to read the book because I wasn't getting into it. And you're good at doing that anyway. <laughs> like, yeah, kind of. <laughs> you don't need to read it to do the test good. Uh, and so it wasn't really until I took um, a literature class in uh, college that focused on romance literature. Uh, that I actually went back and did these. Uh, Frankenstein was assigned for that class again. Uh, Dracula was not, but I read it around the same time. What made you read Dracula, I guess? Because I was interested in catching up on it. Companion piece, I guess. You know, companion piece. I never read him at all. I have now, but... (laughs) Um, So yeah, I read Frankenstein for uh, my literature class, and um, I don't know, being older or... uh, more more perceptive or more into reading for its own sake, I guess. I just appreciated the book a lot more, how much of a massive jerk Frankenstein is, um, <laughs> and how everything that happens to him is really his own fault. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It was it was fun to, to analyze and dissect. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's very different in the films. He's less of a jerk. Yeah. Depending but on the film. He still is a jerk. I'm talking about yeah, the 30s the, films. The 30s specifically. films. Yeah. No, I remember for the class, I watched the Keith Branagh version. Oh, the Kenneth Branagh one? The Kenneth, yeah, Kenneth Branagh With, version. With where uh, Helena Bonham Carter is, yeah. And they kind of merge Bride of Frankenstein right. and Frankenstein yeah. together and, for two different yeah, films. Yeah, I felt like they kind of got, you know, his his douchery a little bit more prominent in that film. But yeah, Overly Sarcastic Productions has some great, hilarious commentary about what a <laughs> terrible wuss frankenstein actually is as a doc he's not even a doctor he's he's a medical student (laughs) that decided to do an experiment in his dorm room and then was so scared of what happened he just ran away (laughs) and left his poor sweet monster to just survive on his own and Mm -hmm. so sad Mm -hmm. don't get into super science kids nope it's just not good it's bad (laughs) Mm -hmm. so but yeah and so that was something that you encouraged me to read both of those books and i did yeah, I appreciated them more, and yeah, I thought you would appreciate them too. Mm-hmm. And I, I think as books go, I like Dracula better. Mm-hmm. I still like Frankenstein. I, I agree. But Dracula is so good. Like, I was not expecting it to be as good as it was until you were like, no, really, yeah. this is a great book. And yeah. it is. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you want to elaborate well, on that? Yeah, uh, this is probably one of the reasons it was harder for me to get into when I was younger. It's basically a collection of found footage. <laughs> in journal um, style. In journal style. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it's 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 a very modern book for its time. Mm-hmm. Um, it's it's very, it's almost science fiction-y in its, mm-hmm. in its approach to things. And it's yeah. all about using modern science to defeat to this ancient evil. Yeah, like Mina loves learning how to do the typewriter and yeah. like the doctor records on a phonograph. Right. And stuff. It's really cool. Yeah. It's so interesting. Yeah. And of course, all of these things have had their various incarnations through other mediums. Oh, naturally. Um, yeah, the other version of Dracula that actually has a lot more close to the book than the 1930s one mm-hmm. is the Francis Ford Coppola's yeah. Bram Stoker's Dracula. Right, with Gary Oldman. With Gary Oldman, which yeah. is really good. They include the Texan. Like, no <laughs> one else wants to include the Texan. But they do. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. I it really was a like, weird part of the story. but I know. He's just kind of like one of the guys. But like he's such an important character in the story that, spoilers, after he dies, Mina 
and Jonathan named their first son after him. Yeah. They named him Quincy, <laughs> which is just like, oh, guys, that's really sweet. You know, it's really good. And yeah. so, of course, the original movie is of uh, Dracula is a classic just yeah. because of the iconic over the top acting of Bill Lugosi. And um, I have no idea why I'm terrible at remembering names in the podcast. Yeah. But the guy that plays Renfield, I think his last name is Fry. I don't know. Anyway, he's amazing. He's really great at being the crazy guy in the madhouse. Like, mm-hmm. he really kind of grounds you in the beginning as kind of the crazy guy. You see him being normal, and then he's crazy. Mm-hmm. And Bela Lugosi is just such a great, great Dracula. Mm-hmm. And the guy that plays um, Van Helsing. Yeah. Like, I was inspired after watching that movie to put a Van yeah. Helsing-like character in my fantasy series yeah. which is not a horror fantasy series <laughs> so that's how much it impacted me yeah. and like i bought the dvds i was like you have to watch these movies and yeah. so this one is more of an exchange where it's like oh you read the books and yeah. i watched the movies we should switch yeah. and same thing with Drac, with not dracula with frankenstein too i love the way that the movie just handles the sweet guy's humanity yeah. and just shows you how he's been done wrong and like yeah. how yeah yeah it's just not fair you just feel for him he's that's why he's my favorite universal monster because he's actually not a monster, <laughs> he's, not a monster. He's, misunderstood, he's misunderstood you guys oh well, yeah and, <laughs> and my favorite and i think maybe your favorite as well uh incarnation of frankenstein is young frankenstein oh. from mel brooks because as much of a comedy as it is it's like <laughs> Wow, this is so sweet. It, it, it really, yeah, it kinda, and and it's a happy story, and it's about reconciliation. Right, and, like he loves and, his monster. And, and Gene Wilder's Frankenstein is is not a complete asshole. No, he's not. He wants to do right by him. This is a good boy. This is a mother's angel. Yeah. and it's also insanely quotable. So that's <laughs> I love. It's just yeah. so fun. Frau Blucher. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Over um, Dean. <laughs> yes. No, thank you. I'm very tired. <laughs> Put the candle back. Sorry, I'm just doing. I'm just went on a, a rampage. Yeah, Sorry. Stuck there. <laughs> um, Excuse me. Uh, my favorite incarnation of Dracula is from the anime Helsing. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Because he is just absolutely insane. Oh, he's amazing. As, it's It's funny and interesting to see dracula on the side of the good guys and he's not a good guy right he's there for the violence yeah Um, i know he's still kind of a wild card variable yeah but he's so much fun i know he's amazing and the abridged the uh housing abridged makes it even funnier makes it even funnier yeah Um, i'll I'll link to all the stuff i'm mentioning down below too by the way so anyway all of these things we could talk forever oh man we totally could you have any closing thoughts on frankenstein and dracula um I actually listened to an audiobook where, yeah. like, Tim Curry did the voice of, um, I think he did the voice of uh, Van Helsing. And he was actually quite understated. You An wouldn't understated have thought Tim so. Curry, no. I know. It's almost like he's a professional actor. I know. <laughs> I, know I forget. <laughs> but, yeah, like, that was really good. There are lots of ways to take it all in. And it's so cool just to see how it's changed. Because if you read the books and then you watch the movies mm-hmm. and different incarnations is the word of the day you just get to see all these different neat ways they've been Mm -hmm. interpreted and it's they're just really cool stories yeah and they're really fascinating and they all have their the authors that created them all have an interesting history and why it happened and how it happened and they're just really good oh and the other thing i have is um on the dvd there's actually on the dracula one there's a spanish language version no which is a thing they apparently used to do back in the day sometimes and it was actually had a similar script different actors different director i actually think that that version of the film is a lot more interestingly made than hmm. the classic one that you see it's got a lot more interesting dynamic shots in it like more hmm. close-ups it's got a lot i don't know i, I liked when i saw it i liked it a lot better yeah, personally <laughs> you know interesting stuff yeah see that's the background i kind of have the movie background you kind of have the literature background so that's how it usually is yeah yeah any final thoughts for you no i just like these stories yep watch them read them go find them <laughs> well, cool we're with well, signing off Yes. Happy Halloween. (laughs) Candy. Good.